Hello, I'm David with His Word Lives Ministry, and I want to welcome you to this Christian ministry. In our Bible time today, we're in the book of 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 1 and 2, and we're looking at an example of Christ suffering on the cross, and how through the Apostle Peter, God is telling us to suffer in our lives. And through this, we know that we may not sin. Look at this, and let's read this and apply it into our life. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. God's word tells us here that he's directing us and, and he's telling us a better way for us to live our lives now that we're saved in Christians and have the guidance and the power of the Holy Spirit about us. It's, he starts off with, because we have a good conscience about Jesus Christ and that we have faith and we believe in Jesus and what he did on the cross, he has pronounced grace upon us or a divine favor or forgiveness in that, in that because of our sins, <clears throat> we will not die. But because of his grace, we will have life. And through this relationship and being born again with God Almighty through his son Jesus Christ, we can have a good conscience towards God. Now we know that God has ascended up on high to the right hand of the, of the Father, and he has authority over all things, angels and other all powers, and everything is made subject to him. And God is telling us this is how we're to do. <clears throat> Just as Jesus suffered for us in the flesh, and that he gave himself on the cross. Yes, he gave himself on the cross. You know, he prayed to the Father, if it were possible, let this cup be taken from me. But it was God's will that Jesus, God gave his son, Jesus, it was to die on that cross so that you and I and all the men of the world could have a way to be forgiven for our sins and have new life. And Christ suffered for us on the cross. <clears throat> it says here, just the way Christ suffered for us on the cross, arm yourself likewise with this same mind. Now listen, this isn't easy. This is spiritual work. This is taking the word of God and applying it in your life. He's telling us here through the scriptures, arm yourself likewise. Take on an attitude of suffering as Christians in your life. Take on an attitude of suffering. I want to tell you uh, about suffering. It's to submit to or be forced to endure, to undergo or experience something. To put up with especially an inevitable or unavoidable situation. To endure death, pain, or distress. To sustain loss or damage. To be subject to disability or handicap. <clears throat> Suffering is not pleasant. It's something that a person endures without retaliating back. It's something that a person goes through and achieves because of the love of Jesus inside of them and because they're interested in doing the will of God in their life and not responding and retaliating to the flesh and the lust of the body and the things that will be uh, presented to us in our life. <clears throat> when we do this, God says here, that that person, that Christian, that, in, that suffers 
during situations and in relationships with other people. He that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. He doesn't retaliate. He shows kindness instead. Uh, one that doesn't deserve forgiveness, he gives forgiveness instead and cares about a relationship, a relationship that that person may have an opportunity to tell someone about Jesus. There's a difference in someone that matures spiritually and takes on suffering as a way of life. Listen, we won't do this at the spur of the moment and, and, and reactions. We react in the flesh. But the scriptures tells us to arm yourself likewise. I want you to work with an attitude of suffering in your life. I want you to work with an attitude of being willing to endure, being willing to forgive, being willing to have pain and discomfort because of other things that people do. <clears throat> and know that this is the will of God. <clears throat> How do I know that? It says in verse 2 again, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the, fl the lust of, of men. When the lust of men, the things from the eyes, with the heart and the mouth, are your attack, no longer live to respond to those things in a fleshly way. <clears throat> and do this. But respond with the will of God. Go to the Lord in prayer. Ask him to help you have the strength to suffer different things that happen along the way in your life. What a beautiful lesson this is and a challenge for us Christians in our life to suffer just like Christ did on the cross. So he never did anything wrong. He was perfect, sinless. But he suffered on the cross for us, sinful man. We have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Christ suffered for us. He, he endured. <clears throat> he gave himself. He didn't follow the flesh, but he followed the will of God in his life. And he was obedient and did the work of the Father. I'd like to ask a prayer for Kim Holcomb this morning. She has an unspoken prayer request. I'd like to ask prayer for Mary R Ruth Hare that's recovering from surgery. And I'd also like to pray for her husband, Walter. I'd like to ask prayer for Floyd Guthrie, who's lost his wife that passed away. David Maddox lets us know that he's praying with us. James Thomas lets us know that he's praying with us. <clears throat> I'd like to pray for Ken and Sherry Bradley. And I'd like to pray for Sherry's mother that's in the hospital and her health situation. Don Thurman lets us know that he's praying with us. Sammy Adams lets us know that he's praying with us. Now you pray with us. Right now, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. We encourage you to pray along with us. Dear God, we come to you in prayer and thank you so much for what you make possible through your power, strength, and salvation, God. The many different things that we can learn from the Word of God and apply them in our life such that we grow as Christians. God, we lift up the prayer request in the prayers from the viewers this morning. And God, we lift up the prayer request that's been made mention and sent in to the ministry, God. God, we praise you and thank you for all you do for us, Lord. Thank you for suffering on that cross, God, that we might be forgiven for our sins through belief in your Son, Jesus Christ. God, if there's anyone that doesn't know Jesus, I pray that they get down on their knees and pray to you, God, and, and be saved. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you. I hope you got a blessing out of this ministry. And let me encourage you 
to take on an attitude of suffering in your life. Thank you.